final stop for Hawaii's Kitchen here at Market City brings us to Cafe Kyla. We got Chrissy, the owner, and Wayne. He's a server. He's in marketing. He does it all. Uh, thank you guys for having us down. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're so good you guys are here. We're, we're here a little bit late in the afternoon for this taping, but you guys are normally open till 3.30, yes? yes? Okay, and you opened in 2007, so tell me how you guys managed to stay open through all these years. Well, to be honest, when we first opened, we were the new kids on the block and nobody knew who we were. And so we owe it all to your station and the viewers of k 2 and News. Manolo Morales came in and did his morning show here. And the very next day, we had a line out the door. So really, it's due to your station and all of your loyal viewers that watch the morning show. Well, awesome. And you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the fact that we do use high quality product and we're stayed consistent with our you know, the food that we serve and the presentation and the amount of quantity that we give. So I think that that's helped us maintain our loyal followers for this amount of time. Well, that's great. Um, Wayne, you've taken pictures of every dish that yeah. are on the table. <laughs> tell, me, tell me some of the popular dishes. What's going on here? Uh, so we do have like our local favorites. So this is our meatloaf loco moco. Uh, it's an in-house meatloaf that we make. Um, and it's our, our own gravy, two eggs your way. It's, it's, a, it's a spin on a classic, I guess. And then we have also our chicken and waffles there. Um, crispy chicken and waffles. And this one we're serving on our cornbread waffle, which is our most popular waffle that we have here. So nice. it's a cornbread batter made in waffle style. And we serve it with a strawberry honey butter on side and a cayenne maple butter to drizzle on top. Ooh. Super good, yeah. Wow. Okay, what else? Keep going, there's a lot. Uh, so we also um, always have uh, different French toast special. So the banana bread French toast is one that we kind of recently started mm -hmm. that's really popular with all the local guests. Yeah. Really nice. And then, uh, of course, you got the classic sandwiches. So it's not just what you would expect at breakfast. Yeah, I mean, we have an extensive lunch menu as well with soup, salad, pasta, chicken, fish, steak. This here is our buttermilk pancakes, and it has all of our fresh fruit toppings. Perfect. And then uh, there's always a corner of your menu of menus in a restaurant, they say soup and salad. You got that yeah. as well. Yes. We have about 15 different soups that we rotate through, and it's kind of just based on what we have available or what the guests have been requesting. So mm -hmm. this is our uh, hearty vegetable, and it has everything in there. Uh, spinach, <laughs> mushrooms, tomatoes, bell peppers, everything, and it's just kind of a really stick to your gut kind of soup. Okay, I like that. Um, I know that you guys also have some additional things. There's some cookies behind us. Tell me about that. Okay, so during the pandemic, uh, Christy started to uh, make cookies as well as all of our food because she needs to make more money for the rent and to pay um, the wage for all the, um, the workers. But that in itself became its own entity mm -hmm. and it blew up. So I mean, she has to keep, now she has the food and all that she has to make as well as the cookies. So everyone, is um, definitely buying the cookies. Yeah. Uh, definitely recommend those. You guys are open. Give me your hours of operation. Uh, we're open Monday through Sunday, so every day from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., and we serve breakfast all day. Okay. And just as a side note, it takes a village, so it's not just me. We have a bunch of wonderful servers and cooks in the back there and a whole group of people that make this operation run. So of course. it definitely takes us yeah. all. Um, to, to do this, too, I, I know that it's an army of people out there, but um, it sounds like you do, you, the two of you guys do a huge uh, load of the work, so thank you guys so much. How do we follow you? Is there a website? Uh, so we have an Instagram um, page. Uh, at, it's at Cafe Kyla. Yep. Wayne does an awesome job with all of our marketing and PR work, so he definitely is the guy behind the scenes pushing the business and getting people in here, and he does a really fantastic job with that. And we want to thank our guests as well because they, they are the ones that are always bringing their friends in, and they're, uh, they've been loyal to us for many years. Um, this is our 16th year, so. and we're still going strong. And you guys are always welcome to come down, enjoy, and try out, and see if you can make uh, your favorite dish go viral as well. Thanks to Wayne. <laughs> Appreciate it, you guys. Thanks. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Thank Sean. you for having Thank us. Thank you. Crispy chicken time. Yeah. I love that spot. So you just ate there. I did just a couple weeks ago. I uh, went for brunch during the weekend. Let me say, let me just say real quick that the food was amazing. Mm -hmm. I think they do such a good job. The tastes, everything was really good. The cookies, though. They're on a whole nother level. Really? So I actually have never even had their cookies. They're, so so I know that you're not into crispy cookies, uh -huh. but there are, like, they're bite size. Uh -huh. So they're like one bite kind of pop in your mouth <laughs> nice. kind, of, kind of deal. I ate the whole bag that night. Nice, it as was you should. so good. No milk. I didn't even need milk. <laughs> it just boop, boop, boop. 
That's done. incredible. Yeah, so they're doing some good stuff over and there. I Make love sure you that them. Manola Morales is who kind of yeah. like gave them that yeah. initial like push. I'm mean, just And they're fabulous. The power of being on K1, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Love it's, it. Uh, but they also, for them to have a line out the door and then to keep people keep coming back, yeah. their food is good. It's so there you have amazing it. Amazing food. No, we also want to let you guys know about the Market City Shopping Center's Easter yeah. fun that's coming up. This Sunday, Market City Shopping Center is hopping into the Easter season with a fun event from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be all sorts of activities. You can take pictures with the Easter Bunny, enjoy shave ice and cotton candy. And for all the info, you can check out MarketCityHawaii.com. But that'll be a great time again happening this Saturday.